Hey everybody and welcome to this week's broadcast of Jackie Straight Up. I'm going to share a little story with you today. So a few weeks ago I was walking along the boardwalk on the marina by my home, which I do pretty much every day. And on this occasion uh, I was approached from behind by a young guy who started to talk to me about the weather. And I thought that's really weird. I mean, first of all, what 20 something guy talks about the weather? And uh, so anyway, the, the, some small talk sort of ensued and during the course of the conversation I learned that he'd been on a contract here in the marina that was ending that day. And he said, I can't believe I'm only meeting you today when I've been working here for two years. And then he asked me for my number. And again, I was like really stunned. I'm like, not only is this young guy talking about the weather, but he's hitting on me. <laughs> anyway, I had absolutely nothing to lose. So I gave him my number. Well, wouldn't you know, not so long after that, a few days maybe, he found an excuse to come back to the marina and uh, reached out to me and asked me if I would meet him. So we went for a walk. And during that conversation, I learned that in actual fact, he had been watching me walk by, run by numerous times over the course of almost two years, just hoping and waiting to get up the courage to approach me. Oh my God, how cute is that? So looking back now, there are two magnificent lessons in this. First of all, he got up the courage on the last day. How many of us don't even do that, right? We look back with regret at never taking an opportunity, no matter how many times it presented itself to us, until finally it was gone completely. So he did eventually get up the courage to approach me. And the second lesson in it is, wouldn't it have been great if he'd approached me sooner, we would have had more time together. And so I want you to remember this famous quote from Steve Jobs, when you are putting off things. Remembering that you're going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. Those were Steve Jobs words. Remembering you're going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. My goodness me. So it was only on this guy, this young guy's, it was only on the last day that he perceived that he had nothing to lose. But in truth, we always are always in the position where we have nothing to lose because in any moment it could be our last. We are not guaranteed of another minute, another hour, another day on this planet. So in truth, we never have something to lose, do we, when it comes to these kinds of things. So I want you to remember that today. Think about that young man, what it took, all that courage it took. But there's probably also a little bit of regret there that he didn't find the courage sooner. So, by the way, he's a really decent, lovely human being and cute too. Yes. So all is well. But that's just, I just wanted to share that little story with you today and that lesson because I think it's such an important lesson. What are you putting off? What are you putting off? What are you afraid to do? Do it anyway, please. We are all going to die one day. You really do in this moment have nothing to lose. Go do it now. Thanks for watching. A like and a share is always gratefully appreciated. And you know, I do love hearing from you. So feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what is your experience with this? Do you go through life remembering you have nothing to lose? Or have you been putting off everything? The stuff that's going to move the needle for you and change your life. And meeting strangers is often a big one. So let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this. I do love hearing from you and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Jackie Straight Up. Bye. Mwah.